Alrighty folks, I'm going to introduce you today to do a brief crash course in Blender. Blender is a fully featured 3D modeling, animation, rigging, 2D drawing, and even video compositing software, and it is all free. So that is my favorite reason to use Blender. So you can do a lot of really cool stuff in it, and let's go ahead and get started. So what you'll want to do is navigate onto the website, go to download, click download here, so you'll be able to get the latest version of Blender. And if you're on Linux like me, you'll just extract that to a folder here and you'll have Blender ready to go. Now I have Blender 2.9.3 uh, here. Any of the latest versions should be fine. Anything beyond 2.8 or so should have roughly the same shortcuts. And Blender is a tool that is updated frequently. So some of these things may change, but uh, again, most of the shortcuts and the ideas will be the same. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go to file here and um, go ahead and just make my user interface just a little bit uh, bigger for folks. Actually, let me go to edit here, preferences, and let me center this up here just for a moment. And the resolution scale, I'm going to make things again bigger so you can kind of see them on the video here. So you'll notice that the Blender user interface also has lots of different uh, customization options here that you can check out. Uh, the different themes, viewport, um, editing, animation, and so on. Lots of different add-ons. Feel free to play around with those. You can even change the keys if you're familiar with another tool like Maya uh, or you know other big 3D packages to use the same key so you don't have to uh, work as hard when switching between them. So some things to know about the interface here. I am zooming in and out with the uh, mouse wheel. I've got uh, a way to select different objects by left clicking here in the uh, top right here. Uh, and then I can delete things like I don't need this camera here for this particular thing by just pressing the delete key. OK, and then they'll go away. Uh, I'll also delete this light or I can um, uh, select it by hitting delete here. OK, so either those work. You can use the scene selection or just click on videos there. So what we're really going to be concerned about uh, for us today is to look at things in sort of the modeling perspective. Um, so there's different layouts you can do based off the tax that you are doing in Blender. So I'm um, just going to click through these so you can see the different views here. Uh, again, depending on what you want to do, so this is sort of materials, animation, you'll get various um, views here. So you can even do scripting here, which is pretty cool. Uh, so the layout mode or modeling is fine. Uh, let me go ahead and just leave it um, in the default view since most folks will be working at or you can feel free to follow along in the modeling view. Either is fine. Now, if I want, I can also change the view. So I'm using my middle mouse click to sort of circle around. You can see where this uh, pivot point is um, here in the, the center. That's where I'm moving around. But uh, I can zoom in and out with my mouse again, hold the middle mouse click and this will help me rotate. So if you don't have a mouse, this is going to be a little bit uh, difficult. Um, you know, you can navigate um, other ways to navigate. If you have a keypad, I'm pressing one on the keypad, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that'll give you uh, various views here. Um, hitting five uh, twice will toggle between perspective and orthographic mode. Orthographic um, can be interesting here. Here's what it looks like, where basically you don't have any uh, perspective. Everything looks the same uh, size regardless of the distance here. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and hit the five on my uh, number keypad here just to bring things back. Um, if you don't have a number keypad, again, uh, that can be a tool that is useful, but it's uh, not necessarily essential. But again, it can help you uh, model a little bit faster. OK, so some other navigation things. Uh, if I'm holding the shift key, uh, that's the left shift and the middle mouse button, I can pan around this object and uh, sort of navigate into it. And so again, when I'm zooming, uh, I'm zooming towards this uh, sort of pivot point here, OK, um, where I'm uh, centered, I guess, or where I am. And OK, so uh, let's go ahead and do some editing in Blender. Uh, one of the things to know is you can switch between the object mode here, uh, which is where I was selecting the objects and the lights and so on, and editing mode by hitting the tab key. Okay, or you can go to the top left here and just switch between object and edit mode. Uh, those are the different uh, styles here. And once I've done that, once I've gone into edit mode, you'll notice that my user interface has changed because I am interested in editing the geometry of this object. here. Um, so I can uh, now just left click on these individual vertices 
And uh, if I press the G key, I can move things around uh, with my uh, mouse here. If I press it twice, I can sort of slide along the uh, normal for this object um, along some uh, axis here. Um, so that is uh, what is uh, going on here. Okay, uh, so let me go ahead and do a different option here. So I can hit uh, the edge select and then left click uh, each of the edges here or the face here and select one of the faces here. And let me go ahead and just hit a G once so you can see how I can move those things around. Now it's a little bit faster if I hit the one, two, or three key to change between these modes. Uh, in fact, if I select something in the face mode and then go into uh, the vertice mode here and then press G, you can see that that can also be a quick way to, uh, you know, I'm still moving this face around, but with the vertex selection, or I can move it with the edges, uh, G again to move things around and so on. So that is how we can sort of manipulate our geometry. Okay, so let me sort of move around here. Uh, now, the thing that we're going to want to do is start transforming this cube and creating some other uh, geometry just to you know, do something a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to hit three so that I'm in the face select menu and then I'll hit the E key, which is extrude and that will draw out these points here. Uh, now, if I hit one or say uh, two here, that's going to do it a specific unit uh, amount here. So 12 here. Let me hit control Z to undo that. Uh, do E again, and let's do two, and um, then we can see it extruded out this cube to units. Okay, so you have some shortcut keys like that that you can do. Uh, and I can select um, multiple of these faces. I'm going to hold shift and left click, hit E, and now I'm extruding these out. Let's do that two units again and get a nice um, sort of base here for um, some object here. Okay, so uh, now doing different modes here, like if I try one here and then uh, also hit E, well, it'll extrude out this point here so that may or may not make sense. Uh, let's go ahead and try that with edges, left clicking, holding shift to select multiple uh, points here, E for extrude, and then you can see that the edges are uh, coming out here. Uh, I might want to extrude along the, um, say, the uh, different uh, axis E's, so I can do um, E and then sort of, again, uh, one or, or whatever, and that'll sort of shift things uh, along here. Let's see what, what that did here. So that move these edges sort of around here. Let me hit G and kind of move things around. And I don't really like that, so I'll hit uh, Control-Z just to uh, move that around. So, um, okay, so we've got this sort of cube box. This is kind of uh, interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and hit three, the face selection mode. Um, select a few of these faces. If I do want to select more things, um, I can hit Control, and if you have a keypad, you can hit plus, and that'll sort of grow the selection. Right, and then if I hit plus again, it'll grow it and control minus. Um, let's see if it should shrink the selection. Oh, maybe not in this case. Let me uh, select one, uh, select two, uh, grow, control plus. That's a plus key by the uh, keypad. Uh, and then minus, okay, will uh, shrink the selection. Okay, if, it, if everything hasn't been selected. So just some different shortcuts for uh, selecting things that can uh, save you some time. Um, now you'll notice there are a few things if I right click I can get a menu and see some of these options here uh, Subdivide could be uh, interesting. So let's go ahead and just grow this selection So I'm holding control and the plus on my keypad uh, Otherwise, uh, if you don't have that you can just select all the faces by holding uh, shift to add to the selection or uh, remove things uh, Let's right click. I'll do subdivide and that's another way to sort of get um, some more uh, cubes here. Okay. Um, so there we go. We've got some uh, interesting uh, geometry here. Uh, and let's go ahead and just select a few of these uh, items here. And this time I'm going to hold Alt and then E. And you'll see that I have some different options here. So I was just extruding, but I might want to just extrude faces along the normals here. And that way, when I'm just moving my mouse up and down, you'll notice that it's going along the normals of the cube. So I can get a nice sort of uh, selection here. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, just do that here. Okay. Um, so now I've got this uh, sort of interesting shape here. Uh, I'm going to hit one on my keypad here just so I have a sort of uh, front view here. Um, let me do uh, a couple times here just to get the right view. Perspective. Yeah, this is okay. The north graphic. Um, okay. So another thing that I can do uh, if I want to sort of extrude things is uh, I can hit hold control and then right click and based off of where I am right clicking that will create some 
uh, geometry here. So whatever this, you know, shape is that I'm creating. I'm going to hit Control Z a few times, but this is going to be a quick way to sort of sketch out a shape, or a lot of folks will sort of um, model something uh, in this way. So let me just create something somewhat uh, interesting here, so sort of this uh, geometry. Uh, and then I'll right click to sort of uh, circle around here. Okay. Uh, so this is pretty interesting. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, I'm just going to hit the S key, which is for scale and sort of uh, move some of these faces around. So control plus grow the selection and uh, maybe uh, scale here just to sort of shrink things down a little bit. Um, maybe uh, shrink the selection a little bit, uh, scale, make it a little bit smaller and shrink the selection again. Uh, a few times, hit scale, and just kind of uh, playing around with this to get some, I don't know, interesting uh, shape here. Okay. Uh, okay, so we've got this uh, shape here. Uh, I don't know what exactly I'm going for here. Maybe a tree here. Uh, and maybe I want to add uh, some more geometry to this. So let's see, how could I create some more shapes? So if I go into uh, object mode, add, and let's see, well, I've got different uh, meshes here. Uh, let's go ahead and add some sort of uh, sphere here or spherical shape. Um, okay, so let's see that added um, something here. Let's move it uh, around with G here, scale it, uh, make it uh, bigger. Uh, I'm going to move it around again with uh, G and uh, we have some, I don't know, interesting tree shape here or something. So with uh, two different meshes. Um, let me just show you a few other interesting sort of uh, blender options. Again, I'm going to click on something again, each of the different shapes here. Um, and I can hide them if they are for some reason getting in the way. So for example, I might want to work on this uh, geometry a little bit. Um, so again, just playing around with the um, user interface to see um, these different shapes here. Uh, let me go ahead and click on this hit tab to go on edit mode. And uh, let me pick one of these pieces of geometry here. Uh, let me pick this here, hit uh, shift again, and I'm going to hit um, I here, which stands for inset, and just create a little uh, branch here, one, and then I'm going to uh, right click um, here and just create a little uh, branch here. Actually, let me undo those, uh, scale down a little bit, uh, right click, uh, scale down a little bit uh, again, and right click, and scale down uh, just a little bit more. Uh, move around, uh, and if I actually hit M, this will merge all the vertices, so I have a, a point there um, for my uh, tree here, okay? Uh, now, this isn't quite maybe the way that I want it to look, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and just hit, uh, hold the shift key and the middle mouse click and rotate around just to find my position. I'll hit 2 to go in the edge select mode. Uh, I'm going to hit G twice, and that'll sort of slide the geometry along the normal of this face. So you can see me sort of moving around there. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing uh, here. Just hit it, hit G twice, and slide along here. Uh, maybe move through the vertex mode uh, by hitting 1 and also hitting G. So I'll slide um, downwards here uh, to about that face here. Um, and that looks uh, okay to me. So we've got a little uh, tree with a branch and I don't know, some sort of uh, base here. But anyway, you get the idea. You'll probably be a better artist than me and just wanted to show you some of these simple uh, techniques with uh, Blender for navigating around, creating some geometry, extruding, changing the views. And again, hopefully this is a useful introduction to you to, uh, you know, just start building some stuff with Blender. Now, uh, the last thing I will show you is how to export. Um, now, of course, you might want to save, which will save this as a blend file, but you might want to export this data here, uh, particularly in some common formats. It's static, like a OBJ model, and just you know go ahead and uh, save that uh, geometry here. Uh, you can save just the selection. Otherwise, it'll group all the objects uh, together here, which is probably what we want for our tree here. Uh, I like to do this scale uh, one, depending on what your using, uh, depending on your game engine, you might toggle the different um, coordinate access accesses, excuse me, uh, and then may need to uh, export some other stuff. So do take a chance to uh, look at your options here and then export that uh, model out. OK, so anyway, this is just another uh, little video here. Hopefully it's useful for getting uh, started in Blender and enjoy.